we meeting Grandma? Do you miss Grandma? Yeah. Maybe Daddy will bring Grandma for tea soon. My grandma's been pretty busy, so let's not uh, let's not disturb her. Okay? Right, I'm gonna pay for this, and we can go. James, I know this has something to do with the family meeting on Tuesday. Why won't you tell me what happened? I told you it's nothing. And I... Stop saying it's nothing. I saw how upset you were when you came home. Please, James, talk to me. There's nothing to talk about, okay? I'm going to visit Debbie later in Changi. I thought we were supposed to discuss what other tenders we want to target. What time are you going? No reason, a short while only. We need some new business. Since I doubt we'll get the GFPH renovation. I need to don't bother. We have the sports shop to do. It's not enough. So are you coming to visit Debbie or not? For what? We are not together anymore. We are still friends, right? You visit her can already. I'm so sorry, Mom. Why don't I talk to him for you? That's very sweet. But James will probably just think I've manipulated you into playing the mediator. I wish there was some way I could help. You have done enough, really. And maybe it's high time I took a hint. He wants nothing more to do with me. So be it. You can't just give up. I'm not just giving up. How many years I've been trying to make amends with him. Look where that got me. Maybe it's the way I brought him up that's made him so bitter and unforgiving. It's not your fault, Mom. Thank you for trying to be encouraging, Emily. I appreciate it. I really do. But let's call a spade a spade. Today? I just thought I'd come by and spend time with you guys. Oh, okay. Take a seat. Have a towel, eh? Mm. Your handsome boss special is getting better and better. Thank you, Ella. I wanted to update you. I have decided uh, to market Boss Lady as a social enterprise. The Quan Shelley Foundation has a program that provides funding for social enterprises. I'm going to apply for it. Oh, OK. Well, congrats, I guess. You don't think it's good? No, it's great. Anyway, I look online on the application form. I got a headache. So many things I don't understand. Can help me? Spoke too soon. Okay, let's read some comments. Why do you die so fast? Because I'm a new. Duh. You knew that. Okay. Next round. Let's go. Oh, you guys want to meet Nathan? Hey, come in. Let me introduce you. This is my annoying older brother, Nathan. He was the one who said, I suck at Total Mayhem. And he's right. I don't know why you need nights waste your time watching me get fragged. Wow. Do you even have a name now? There, there, there. Get him, get him. Oh, oh, oh. Headshot! Who's the noob now? OK, some more comments. Good job, Miss Nins. You rock. Aw, that's so sweet. But I know I still suck. You are just pretending to suck to get more views. Lame. Hey, she's not pretending, okay? She really does suck. I can vouch for that. Don't feed the trolls, Nathan. I just bend them. See? Bend. Oh my god. No way! Did I just get a donation from one of you losers? 
You guys seriously need to find a hobby, but thank you so much. I promise I'll try to suck less. Okay, this is a list of things you need to prepare before you start your application. Thank you. Wow, so much. Huh? Are you sure about this? Very. Since that Jessica came down here and tell me I couldn't, uh, I must prove her wrong. Hope it's worth the trouble. I mean, what if they make things difficult for you and screw you over in the end? Yeah, no lah. Yok told me uh, Emily is in charge. I'm sure she will be fair. Just try to manage your expectations, okay? I mean, it's the Shelleys after all. They can't be trusted. Yeah, even Derek Shelley himself, I don't think it's a good idea. But for Handsome's sake, I must at least try. Sorry, traffic was bad. It's okay. Maxine, is that her play date? Yeah. Uh, finish your tea and we'll go. James, we're having another brainstorm for the app soon. Hmm. You know, we could really use another brain to pick at a meeting. You always have such good ideas. Yeah, I don't think so. The kids will be there. Nikki, Maxine... I said no, Emily. Look, maybe I should have been more clear with this, but I have no interest in any involvement of any kind with KSUH. Okay. Look, and to be honest, I wish you wouldn't get involved with them either. You know, first it's this app, and then all of a sudden you're you're chairing the Quan Shelley Foundation. I thought it was a good opportunity for me to give back. Why don't you tell me what's really going on? It has not been easy for me, okay? The past few years, being caught in between you and your mom... What, are you, what were you saying? Were you saying that everything you've been doing at KSUH, it's all part of some grand plan to bring the whole family together? I should have known better. I mean, you... you Getting involved with this app is so out of the blue. Sorry, I was just trying to help. It was her idea. How could you let her get to you? You of all people know what she's capable of. How could you let yourself get manipulated like I this? I had to try, James. Look, you need to face the facts, okay? I will never, ever forgive my mother for the way she manipulated my entire life. And she forced me into a degree, into a job, even into a marriage. longer than 20 minutes for the first time, got more subs, and got my first donation. Not bad for a couple hours' work. Come on. All of a sudden, you're some sort of gamer. I mean, gaming has always been Dad's thing. And? So what? Total Mayhem is fun. Dad's a lot better at it than I am. But still, I can I just find it very convenient that you're suddenly interested in gaming. That's all. Convenient? If you have a point, I'm still waiting to hear it. And I suppose that you know that since Dad likes gaming, he won't object to you being a streamer? You have a problem with me making money being a streamer? Dad said you're not supposed to have a job. You think I'm pretending to be interested in this game so I can work without actually having a job? Look, all I can say is that Dad is really glad that you and him have this common interest. But if he finds out that you're really into this just for the money, then... Look, I don't have to explain myself to you, but I actually like this game. Well, okay. I guess I don't have to remind you about how you felt when Amethyst pretended to be a friend. Long time no see. Oh, you're looking very well. Uh, you can have my table. I'm nearly finished. Young man, I didn't know you are one of the partners in this business. No wonder he's doing so well. No, I just gave the owner some friendly business advice. That's the extent of my involvement, really. Your parents must be proud. I always tell my children, businesses cannot exist just to make money. Mm. We have a responsibility to society. You know why? Because we have the means to make a difference. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Actually, the timing is perfect. I'm not sure whether your mother updated you on this, but the Kwan Shelley Foundation has just started a fund to support social enterprises. Hmm. 
I see. And since you're interested in this area, why don't you join us? <laughs> oh, thank you, Michael, but I've moved on from KSUH. I'm not going back there anytime soon. <sighs> what a shame. Let me know if you change your mind. Sure. Say hi to Madeline for me. Sure. Mm -hmm. So handsome is boss now? <gasps> so good, ah? Uh? Yeah. Anyway, Hawk wanted to come with me, but he was busy, so he couldn't make it. Aya, don't bluff. I know you won't visit me. Sorry. Sorry for what? Also not your fault. I don't know. I thought since we're all such old friends... You know, before I came in, I was still hoping maybe one day Hawk and I can patch up. But I know I'm not his number one. He will never see me the way he sees Emily. I wish him all the best. I really hope one day they can be together. Don't worry, kid, Debbie. I'm sure one day you'll find a guy who will see you as his number one. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Hey, should just jump over the bridge. <laughs> hey, before I respond, do you want to co op? We can be on the same team. Awesome, really? I would love that. Yeah, we can cover each other's back. I really suck, though. Now that you mention it, what was the last game that you were really into before this? I don't recall. Oh, wait, there was none. Nathan, anyone can be a gamer. Yeah, maybe your sister was a little late to the game, but it's okay. The most important thing is that now we can be a father-daughter team. Ah. <laughs> it's funny, especially for someone who used to always complain that playing games is for nerds. I can always change my mind. Why? Because we balas have gaming in our blood. Team, assemble! Yes, sir! Let me get my laptop. <laughs> you want Yoke to be CEO? <laughs> Well, she's perfectly capable. You're kidding me, right? She's barely, like, what, a year out of uni? That doesn't mean that she cannot... So this is how you Shelly wives work. Excuse me? You, Celia, Eunice, you'll never admit it, but you're the same. You treat your children like some insurance policy, angling for them to clinch that top job just so you could justify your status as a Shelly. For your information, out of the three women that you just mentioned, I'm the only actual Mrs. Derek Shelly. That's right. Now, the last thing this company needs is another Shelly stooge with their mommy dearest pulling some strings due to their inferiority complex. How dare you? So why don't you just stick to your little boutique and leave the actual business to professionals? Now, with Eunice, she has some experience managing a company, but you? <laughs> Here's a suggestion. Just be the trophy wife that you are. There's no shame in that. Doors over there. <laughs> oh, see you. <clears throat> um. Oh, thanks for meeting me. No worries. Um, you wanted to know more information about the Quan Shelley Foundation's Fund for Social Enterprises? Yeah, yeah. I heard, I heard it's a new, uh, new thing. <laughs> um, it was your mother's suggestion, actually. Um, she even mentioned you and Boss Lady in the meeting. <sighs> oh, that is just... That is classic Eunice Shelley. She will stop at nothing to pull me back in. Okay, and just it's calm just... down, James. Think about what's best for the family, James. That's her favorite line. Doesn't matter who she takes down, what gets destroyed in the process. It's... You know what? The Lowe's are good people. I am not going to let her turn them into collateral damage. I have to stop this. Okay, look, what good is going to come from confronting your mother or stopping the Lowe's from applying for the funding, James? Why get so worked up? Okay, and it's not like she can simply do whatever she wants in KSUH. Not Shelly Holdings anymore. And at the end of the day, Charles is the chairman. Oh, yeah. Charles. Real paragon of virtue, that guy. He's your boss now, isn't he? Look, all I'm saying is Charles calls the shots. Okay, so you don't have to confront your mother. Nothing good is gonna come from that. It's just gonna make things worse. 
Why are you always so invested in everything us Shelleys do? Or is it Charles Kwan that's got you so invested in Kay's humage? Look, all I'm gonna say is this. The Lowe's are good people. And the fund, if they do get it, is a good thing for Boss Lady and the community. So despite Eunice's machinations, good can come from this. If I were you, I'd use it. Today. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. Just take a break, have something to drink, and we can regroup. Hey! Hey! It's just a game. It's not about the game, Dad. The reason I started playing Total Mayhem was because I thought it could be a way to get some extra cash. As a streamer? Yeah. That's what I've been doing. I even got my first donation yesterday from some weirdo who just gave me five bucks. I know you said I'm not supposed to have a part-time job. I'm sorry. Uh, I've got to tell you something. I'm that weirdo. What? Yeah, I mean, I watched Total Mayhem live streams and I stumbled upon yours. Great. So you gave me a pity donation to boost my ego? No, no, no pity. Your stream was enjoyable. You're self-deprecating, fun to watch, and you've improved a lot. And all that was worth only five bucks. Oh. Now you know how hard it is to make money? You're not mad at me? If you're really serious about this streaming thing, you have my full support. Thanks, Dad. You know, it's really nice to have you listen to me for once when we're playing, instead of just nagging at me all the time. <laughs> well, I'm glad you feel that way. But make sure that this streaming does not interfere with your studies. Mm. Okay, come. So basically, Levi seems okay. La. She's the stronger. I'm sure she can handle it. Uh, Mrs. Shelley, can I talk to you? What is it? I just visited Levi. She asked me to ask you where you can go and see her. In prison? Yeah, uh, but don't worry. Just take the visit card. And then Wait, just... hang on. Why does she want to talk to me? This one, better for you to hear from Debbie herself. Rickson, I'm not going unless you tell me. Okay. It's about how... Sorry, I have to take this. Hello? And then Wei Chiang came up with a great idea. Yay, Wei Chiang! He's saying we should sponsor some rising streamers and social influencers to play and promote Potentia. That's a good idea. You like it? Usually you hit whatever Wei Chiang comes up with. What? Me? No. In fact, Nina just started her own streaming account. It's called Miss Ninex. Huh. That's why. No, seriously. I mean, she's just starting out, but... She's got attitude. I think she'll have followers soon. Are you seriously recommending your own daughter for this? Well, KSU is she's a family business, right? I'm just carrying on the tradition. Very funny. <laughs> Yo, what did I tell you when you first came back? Hmm? Prove yourself. Take initiative. Show leadership. It's not even been six months since I returned. You have squandered your opportunity to take charge of the company. I'll do better, okay? I... I... I just... Look, don't listen to her. You didn't ask for all the expectations to be placed on you. She's right, though. I've just been distracted by other stuff. Hey, what happened to you? The old yoke would have never taken this crap from Jessica. They want to sponsor me to play Futenja and stream it. Yep, you truly level up in game and in life. I was struggling just a few days ago, but now I have my first sponsor. Technically, you don't have them yet, but you could. You're right. They may hate my personality or something. What? 
Nonsense. We Balas are born with personality in our blood. I thought it was gaming. It's both. Nina, don't worry so much, okay? You're going to be great. I have faith in you. Thanks, Dad. It means a lot. <laughs> don't thank me now. When you get sponsored by a gaming hardware company, then we'll talk. <laughs> Change your mind about joining Kwan Shelley Foundation? Not quite. I just wanted to um, clarify some things. Like, I recently learned that my mother's been going around talking up the supposed good work I've been doing with Boss Lady, for example. Good work deserves to be recognized. But not when it's part of a ploy to draw me back into Quan Shelley United Holdings. It's not. What do you mean by that? Like, this has been her plan all the while. Okay, get me back into the company, reinstate me as the CEO. I assume it's not something that you want. Like I told you, Michael, I have no intention of ever returning to the company. Why are you telling me all that? I'm telling you this because you're a good man, Michael. Your dealings with us have always been above board. But I feel the same way about the Shelleys. That's exactly why I do not want you caught up in the middle of my mother's scheming. Just, look, just be careful of her, all right? Oh, thank you. Keep the change. Thank you. Mm. You're having an office gathering? I wish. I'm hoping this was Susan Yoke's day. The extra top is just in case. What's going on? Jessica's been bugging Yoke about making a good impression on Charles Kwan. As if it'll make a difference. Why do you say that? When we were young, Emily was always hanging out with James and Lewis. I was too young to know them, but I think Charles really doesn't like the Shelleys. 